Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here from my 2023 summer home tour. Before I get into the tour, I do want to thank Teddy Blake for sending me this gorgeous handbag that I'm going to share with you all. I'm so in love with it and I know you'll love their brand and their bags also. Teddy Blake bags are made from 100% genuine Italian leather and I chose this gorgeous bag in this beautiful color. I think it'll just be so nice for fall and even into winter I just love how luxurious the packaging is and the bag itself and I did want to show you inside the bag because it's just as beautiful on the inside as the outside I feel like the hardware is just so high-end also. It just has such a nice shine to it. And you could tell that there's just so much craftsmanship put into this bag with the stitching and just all the details. I'm gonna add this longer strap that the bags come with also. That way I can wear it as a crossbody or I can just drape it over my shoulder. Teddy Blake was kind enough to send me a coupon code. I will link it in the description box so that you can get $30 off if you do decide to purchase one of these luxury handbags without the luxury price tag. So let's get into the home tour. So I'm just starting off in the front of our house. I love how this area is looking for summer. All my plants are just growing so well. Everything's so big already and it's just the beginning of July. I think because we've had so much heat and sun and then also quite a bit of rain. So it's kind of the perfect conditions for everything to just get super big. You can tell my hostas are huge. I'm gonna have to trim these down a little bit in the fall, but I have a lot of my candidates day decor up still it was just Canada Day on the weekend and I just love the pop of color that it brings and I just feel like it's so patriotic to have it up so I'm really enjoying that and my favorite add-on to the porch this year was this little bird feeder I've just been enjoying watching all the birds come and eat and I just think it's so precious and of course my little buddy Holstein is keeping an eye on the neighborhood from his little spot so moving into the front of the house, this is our foyer. I love this. I always loved having a big foyer. I just feel like it's so nice when you have guests come over to have that larger space. So this is one of the things that really sold me on the house. And I love this little area I put together with this mirror. I really wanted to bring in a lot of yellows and blues and give it really that French country cottage core look. So that's kind of what I was going for this summer in my decor. This bird cage is one of my favorite pieces. I've had it for a few years, I think now. It was from the Dublin Mercantile. And I added some lemons, a few little gardening tools, a clock. I just wanted to keep it really simple and pretty for summer. And on this lower shelf, I did add this pillow and basket with some books. And then I had this cute little stool. I love this little blue tea kettle. I just feel like it ties in that kind of cottage core feel. And then on my coat hook here, I kind of wanted to make it feel like I was coming back from the market or gardening. So I just staged that with a hat, a scarf, and then one of my denim jackets. This little area is where we have our bench, where we put our shoes on, but I do love to add some decor touches to this area. And I did want to keep it really summery and simple, so I did add these really pretty lanterns. And kind of to mix things up, I added some books with some ivy and tied a lace ribbon around it. And I feel like it gives a very romantic feel for summer and something a little bit unexpected. We do have a powder room right off the front foyer. I love that little powder room sign from Michaels. I did add a basket and then filled it with some florals and I feel like it looks really whimsical. And then I do have this three tier stand. It's one of my favorite little areas to decorate. And again, I really wanted to use those blue and white tones. So I'll kind of just go over that and show you some of the pieces I used. I love this cute little picture. I did thrift that. And then of course I had to add this cute little frame picture of Holstein. He's five years old now, I can't believe it. I don't know where the time goes. I feel like we just brought him home yesterday. And then on this bottom shelf, I just had this really chippy looking bowl and I added some really pretty lemons to it and I feel like it looks very vintage. 
So moving into our open kind of living area with our kitchen, dining room, and living room, I feel like my favorite area of this room is the mantle and the bookshelves. I love to decorate those areas. And typically I do change things up every season. I feel like it's so much fun and I'm so looking forward to fall even though summer's kind of just started. But I love how the mantle did turn out. I use this really big basket that I thrifted this year for $20. And I feel like it does add that very cottage French country look. And then I have these adorable birds that I added to this book. And I use quite a lot of florals. I just feel like it makes it light and bright for summer. And then kind of just moving down the fireplace, I use these really tall pillar candles. And then I had this sweet little watering can that looked kind of distressed and like it'd been outside. And I just added some florals to that. For the summer, I typically don't like to pack my shelves full. I like to keep it really light. I did find this really pretty vase at the thrift store and I think it was $4. On this little shelf, I did keep it really neutral except for this little pop of blue. And again, that was thrifted for $3, which I love that. And then my sister gave me this gorgeous print on this shelf. She actually gave me a few prints and I just thought they were so beautiful. I love the gray picture frame and just the print itself. It just is so wholesome and sweet and just reminds me of simpler times and just simple joys in life. So I absolutely love those. On this shelf, I had these cute little ducks. I found them this year from the thrift store for $2 each. And I just thought they were so precious. I just had to have those. So moving over to the second bookshelf, for the first shelf I had this really chippy looking container. I added some candles and a blue flower. And then on the second shelf I had a few dishes that I didn't end up using for the kitchen. So I thought I would just layer them up and add them to the bookshelves. Here's another one of those really pretty prints from my sister. I think because I love animals and it just reminds me of Little House on the Prairie or Road to Avonlea, some of my favorite shows growing up. So I love that little simple touch. And then on this bookshelf, I do have a clock, but I admit I took the batteries out because the ticking drove me crazy. Let me know if that's happened to any of you guys before. I really do love how this room came together using a lot of pieces I already owned and then adding in some thrifted decor. I did have this tray here and I added this wire looking little cloche with this bee on the top. I think it's so cute with my flameless flickering candle and you can see little Holstein's kind of watching over this whole room. He loves to sit on the couch because he can see out the front door and he's just all cozied up in the pillows and he kind of just blends right in with the decor. Moving into our kitchen, I love how the space turned out. I feel like the yellow really pops against the dark cabinets that we have here and it just makes everything feel really bright and cheery. I love this little basket. I did fill it with quite a few items like this bird, some plates and candles, but I feel like it really does complete the look and make the island look really festive and summery, which I'm so enjoying. Let me know what your favorite area to decorate in your home is, especially seasonally. I feel like we all probably spend quite a bit of time in the kitchen. I don't necessarily do all the cooking, but I do spend time in the kitchen. So I love to just make everything feel really cheery. And one of my simple pleasures in life is lighting a candle on the stove. I feel like it adds so much warmth to the home. And this little basket was so fun to decorate with this lemon squeezer, just a few little cups. And these Maison Cash containers I got this year and I think it was around $16 for both.
I feel like I haven't used my little three tier and two tier stands as much as I used to in the past. I'm not sure why that is because every time I do decorate them, I feel like they're so pretty and I love how they turn out. And then above our stove, I added this wicker basket that I thrifted and just put some little tea towels from Dollar Tree as well as some summer florals. Moving into the dining room, this is another one of our spaces that we probably don't use a ton except when we're entertaining. We typically don't sit at the table when we eat supper, but I do love to decorate this room. And on the buffet, I did find this really cute little teapot for $3.99, I believe, at the thrift store this year. And I thought it was so perfect for the color scheme I was going with, using a lot of wickers and blues. And these cute little birds stacked up on these books are just so adorable and then I did add a lace doily on top of the basket and then again tying in a lot of those same florals I feel like that kind of makes things cohesive when you stick with the same color scheme as well as the same florals you can never go wrong with the blanket ladder. They fill space and there's so many ways you can decorate them. I just added a blanket to this one as well as a straw hat and I love the little touch it adds to the corner. For the tablescape this summer, I did keep it quite simple. A lot of these plates, actually all the plates here as well as the cups are from Dollar Tree so they were only $1.25 each here in Canada and I think they're so stunning. They look really similar to ones you'd find at HomeSense or Winners. They're gorgeous and especially if you'd like to change out your decor a lot, you might not necessarily want to spend a lot. So I was really happy to find those and just kind of decorate on a budget. This little area, I have this table that was my mom's. I love to keep it in this little corner. I added a basket and some books. And then on our sofa table, I have this long floral arrangement and I just popped in some lemons. And on the bottom, I added a basket with some florals and a cute little birdhouse. I do love how our backyard turned out. It's very simplistic. I didn't go overboard. We typically sit out front and we will sit out back when we're having company more, but day to day we're more out front. So I did add a few cute little touches, lots of greenery and then the blues and the creams just kind of to carry that color scheme out to the back deck. There's Holstein lounging on the couch. He loves sitting out here. He loves being outside, but I think it's so pretty with all the calming colors and definitely a space that I can go out to and read a book. And it just feels really calming and perfect for summer. I really hope you've enjoyed this summer home tour. I had so much fun filming it and just being able to chat with you guys is just such a blessing for me and something I look forward to every week. I will leave my Teddy Blake discount code in the description box, but until the next video, friends, take care. God bless.